At Groton, Connecticut, the launching of the first of America's nuclear-powered missile-firing subs. Mrs. Robert Anderson, wife of the Secretary of the Treasury, christens the new George Washington. And the 380-foot vessel slides down the wing. June 9, 1959 marked a new era in America's naval defense capabilities. The submarine, USS George Washington, launched for the first time, tilting the scales in America's nuclear cold war with the Russians. We must keep ahead of communist efforts, efforts to dominate the world. We must have missiles, missiles of all types for all purposes. The George Washington was the first American sub to be able to launch nuclear warheads from below the surface. Its Polaris missiles could be outfitted with H-bombs, which could be fired from out at sea and reach a target more than a thousand miles away. Breaking the surface at an angle, it looks as though something's gone wrong. But the guidance system recovers correct course and off it goes towards the target area 1,200 miles away. The Russians developed the ballistic missile sub first, but the George Washington was the first to be able to remain submerged during launch. Capable of riding out the enemy attack sheltered under the polar ice if needs be, and then delivering a retaliatory blow, the Polaris-class submarine provides a new and vital deterrent against aggression. And in the middle of an escalating Cold War with the Soviets, America had 112 sailors on standby to strike back from below the surface. And that means a great advance towards the ultimate deterrent.